There are two types of GradeCam scored assignment forms that you can create for your day-to-day -day tasks. These are great for quick and easy grading of classroom activities. The first that you can see is a generic form. These do not fill in your student IDs, so you want to make sure you have enough columns for your student IDs within your accounts. Your other option is the pre-filled form. These forms come already filled in with your GradeCam ID, which you see your student name listed below. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of how we can use these forms in a variety of ways. Here's a sheet of pre-filled class scans all together for the scored forms. You'll notice on each one that the student name is listed right below the score and the GradeCam ID is already filled in. This is really handy if you want to keep all your scores together on one form. So if you're grading a class project from student to student to student, they're all there contained together. Now, the easy way to scan these particular items is to use a viewfinder that you can block out all the others and you can only focus on scanning one score form at a time. You would just then move around the score form so that you can get to each student. The next example are the individual scan cards. This is another type of using that scored form. It's the same as the sheet in the previous example, but now they're cut apart and I've laminated them so that I can use them over and over again. These are great to use along with art projects or large presentation boards so that you don't have to mark up the project itself. You can tie it in with rubrics or whatever you want to do for collecting your scores. You go through and using a dry erase or wet erase marker and you can score for each student and then you collect all your cards and run them through GradeCam. This is quick for collecting those scores that can be easily transferred over to your gradebook. Here is not, and yet another great use for the pre-filled score forms. These were already filled out, I cut them apart, and then you can just tape them onto the top of a journal. From there, you would just use a wet erase or dry erase marker to fill in the score each week. So students could fill out the journal with their weekly journal reflections, you then score it, scan it, erase, and use it again next week. You could also tape these into agendas and use it for scores there or in other locations that students would be looking at something week after week. Here we are able to use the generic score forms in order to add to a digital worksheet. So it was a pre-made worksheet with these lines that allowed students to write for an essay or for their written reflections. Then on the top up here, we have added the generic score form that was filled in with the student ID, and then we filled in the score from there. This is a good use for it, along for your English writing or for extended responses. Another option that you have, however, is to add it to those quick math worksheets that you would have students work on. These could easily be graded by an aid and scored and filled in with the student ID number and the scores ahead of time. And then you would just run them through GradeCam very quickly for the quick score collection, which again can be quickly transferred over with one keystroke to your gradebook. Here's another great use for the generic score form. You can actually create stickers. We found that you can use the Avery template 22806, which are two by two inch square stickers. That way you just create a generic form that you can then print off and then attach to a variety of objects. This makes it really quick to put those score sheets right on top of any project that you need. It's also great if you go ahead and put clear tape over the top and then you can reuse the form. Or if you just want to use it once, you can leave it without the tape. 